The following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences' brains. Accordingly, viewer discretion is advised. Imagine the tap in the kitchen. When you turn the tap on one side, the valve in the tap let the water flows, and when you turn the tap other way, the tap valve interrupts the flow of water. Imagine that we turn the valve at a rate of 100 times per second. The valve will do the work of 100 half cycles per second. Water through the tap pipe will flow in intermittent intervals. But if we rotate two taps alternately, water will flow through the tap pipe continuously in the constant flow. H2O2, Danica, flow through, turbine. Here we have a segment with the recesses. Similar to the water tap, segment spins and let through water. And in the second part of work the segment is watertight. Since the kinetic energy of the water is acting on the recesses, the segment will spin. We will add one more segment. What do we get by this? We get that these segments are working alternately. Recesses alternately absorbs kinetic energy. This system absorbs the kinetic energy and thereby achieves continuous rotation. Specific mechanical work. The mechanical work can be used to generate electricity, for example. H2O2 Danica flow through turbine is the first device that can be controlled. One example, the rotation of the H2O2 Danica flow through turbine can be controlled with pendulum system. Same system which controls the clocks. With this we get that turbine let through only the amount of energy we need. We allow. For example, the amount of energy that can be absorbed let through is 1.5 Z. 1500 kilograms per second. Turning to the substance of the project. This is a solution that is in the use by a man nowadays. Use of tidal energy is not an entirely new concept. The man in exactly the same way used the principle of utilization of tidal power for 50 years. For exploitation in this way you will need a large amount of potential energy, which is converted to kinetic when you open the dam. But when you open the dam, the kinetic energy simply passes through the system. The use of such principles require a huge amount of water. For example, Rand's tidal power station, France has a capacity of around 100 cubic kilometers, but that amount of potential energy can be used only for a short time. H2O2 Danica flow through turbine is a device that will bring revival in this area. Thanks to H2O2 Danica flow through turbine we can control the amount of energy that we use. Why every liter is important because H2O2 Danica flow through turbine uses every liter of kinetic energy. We create a tidal power plant in Karina Lush. Reservoir depth is 1 meter, width of 2 kilometers and 5 kilometers long. We obtain a volume of 10 cubic kilometers, or 10 billion cubic meters or 10 trillion liters. The quantity of energy that will flow through the system is approximately 10 trillion liters. If H2O2 Danica flow through turbine uses the energy of 10 Z, that is 10,000 kilograms per second, we get calculation that the amount of 10 trillion liters is enough to power turbine that rotates with energy of 10 Z equals. Are you ready? 10 cubic kilometers equals 10 billion cubic meters. 10 billion cubic meters equals 10 trillion liters. 10 trillion liters divided with 10 Z equals 1 billion seconds. 1 billion seconds divided with 60 equals 16,666,666 ,666 minutes. 16,666,666 ,666 minutes divided with 60 equals 277,777 hours 277,777 hours divided with 24 equals 11,574 days 11,574 days divided with 365 equals 31 year yes, that is 31 year so 
H2O2 Danica flow through turbine that is powered from the accumulation of Carina Lish with area of 10 cubic kilometers can turn with the power of 10 Z. The full 31 year. Now you realize how H2O2 Danica flow through turbine is better than anything so far? You take one H2O2 Danica flow through turbine. You add combustion chamber. You add spark plug. And of course pour gasoline. And you get Third Industrial Revolution. No further comment.